generally speaking, just the frustration level here is just continuing to grow. But it's not just the frustration level, it's also the level of fear. The frustration stems from the fact that not just for weeks, but actually for months now, EU leaders have been calling on UK MPs to tell them what kind of Brexit they would like. The view from Brussels is we've been told so many times what type of Brexit UK MPs don't want, but we are now past the due date for them telling us what type of Brexit they do want. There's also growing fear that a no-deal Brexit is becoming more and more likely. After the vote last night, Guy Verhofstadt, who is the Brexit coordinator in the European Parliament, said it looks like a no-deal Brexit is now becoming inevitable. And this morning here in Brussels, we heard from Michel Barnier. He's the chief Brexit negotiator for the European Commission. He's also one of the architects of the divorce deal that UK MPs keep voting down. He says where it stands right now, the UK has three options. It can come next week to the EU summit and ask for a very lengthy extension. Now, that would, of course, include having the UK participate in EU elections set for May the 23rd. Or uh, they can, there can be a crash out on April the 12th, which is just next Friday. Or there can be another vote in the House of Commons and they can approve that divorce deal that he helps negotiate.